Here, it's time for our morning announcements. I'm Claire. And I'm Pia. And we're your anchors for BTV. Please sign up for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Thursday, February 18th. It is National Battery Day and a Silent Reading Day. Today's lunch menu is baked dry roll with garlic toast, honey barbecue rib sandwich, BLT chef salad with egg, regular and spicy chicken patty, hammer turkey and cheese bagel, sweet potato casserole, and golden corn. The opportunity to vote on the next movie night continues during lunches today on the following movie selections. The Good Dinosaur, Martian, Hotel Transylvania 2, Spectre, and The Last Witch Hunter. Here is a video short from the LC Drama Department for all 8th graders. Hi, uh, I'm Tiana, and I feel like you should join theater because theater is a way for you to open up. It's a way for you to show who you really are and what you really want to do. You should join theater for the experience. I feel like I can talk to you guys and be myself around you guys. But like here, I'm just like, I'm just me. I can be whatever I want to be. Can we keep that in there? It's it's just a fun way to uh, express yourself, I guess. People should join theater because you get lifelong friends and lifelong experiences. You can have more experiences. You can do whatever you want in here. You can direct, be a part of a show. Be backstage, do light sound, you could help build the set, do anything you want. Gives you a chance to empathize and step out of yourself and into the perspective of someone else, which I think is really cool. And, um... Teaches you great life lessons and stuff. So I kind of believe in the quote, through others, we become ourselves. I kind of learn different characteristics. Um, and also, like, I've had, like, problems growing up, like, self-conscious, and so, like, theater has helped me come out of my shell, and I met some great people. One of the first ways to get involved in theater is trying out for the Rookie Show. The Rookie Show is a show for anyone, and it doesn't matter what ex type of experience you've had or not had, it's for everyone and it's a great opportunity to get started in theater. Theater is a lot more than it seems because you have to memorize lines and you have to memorize blocking, but in the process it's a lot of fun and the end result is very rewarding and it's something that you won't forget. One of the best things about theater is that you get to create this family and have lifelong experiences together. Theater is challenging, but it's definitely worth it. Theater is a more serious version of playing pretend. Theater is looking for yourself through the characters you portray. Theater is a community, and it's a way to find your friends and the ones that you love. Theater is escaping into another person and stepping into someone else's life. Theater is getting to play different characters only to appreciate who you are more as a person after you're done with that character. Elzer Sound has a preview show tonight at 7 p.m. at LC. Come out and support our fantastic show, Choir. Male students interested in playing lacrosse should plan on attending the Beginners Clinics held on Wednesday mornings in the Hyatt Gym at 7.15 through the month of February. If you miss Wednesday's practice and are interested in playing, see Mr. Kennedy or Mr. Bergman for more information. Attention girls interested in playing soccer next fall. You are invited to the weekly open facility workouts with the LC coaching staff. They are Thursdays at 8 p.m. at LC. Sign up outside the athletic office each week. Students in a winter sport must wait until the season ends to attend. And now to Josh with the sports and weather update. Today's weather will be a high of 44 and a low of 37. Sports fact. A Chinese checkerboard has 120 holes. Sports news. Today's wrestling is, not, is at home against Franklin Township East at 5 p.m. 
and girls basketball is starts county tournament now back to our anchors thank you josh our black history month fact is about jean baptiste who is known as the first settler of chicago now here is mrs bernard with more information about a book by ruby bridges okay. think back to your first day of first grade were you happy scared confident or whatever now imagine you're a young lady in the south in the 1960s a big southern city, New Orleans, and you are headed to your first day of school. You're a bright young lady and you're able to do many of the things of all the other students, but because of your color, you are forced to take a test in order to attend this all-white school. You pass the test, you do quite well, uh, but you still cannot attend the first day of school. It takes a couple months and there is a federal court order that allows you to go to school there you are escorted by federal marshals to school as depicted in this painting by Norman Rockwell. You find that there are no students there that day. None of them are there because you are there. Ultimately, there is one teacher who is willing to teach you and you spend your entire year alone with her in the classroom, eating your lunch alone, doing most everything alone. Um, for years to come, you have changed things for others. You are the first black student to integrate an all-white school. In doing so, you have allowed many others to have those privileges. You are Ruby Bridges. Um, this Norman Rockwell painting is now hanging in the White House. And in this video you're going to see, she is with President Obama when they presented painting. If you'd like to read or see a book by Ruby Bridges through my eyes, please check that out from the library. Thank you. In national news, 80% of the U.S. currency is in $100 bills. That's about a trillion dollars. Ken Rogoff, an economist at Harvard, says that the $100 bills actually helps criminals, which is why the federal government is considering getting rid of the bill. Thousands of black tip sharks are migrating were, cap were captured on this video just off Florida beaches. Tons of them here. That fishing boat's having a blast. Contact Miami Center 132.25. On this day in history, in 1904, Madame Butterfly premieres. Interesting fact. All the swans in England are property of the Queen. Riddle of the day. What goes up when rain comes down? What? An umbrella. Quote of the day. Success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life, but as by the obstacles which he has, has overcome while trying to succeed. Booker T. Washington. Natomus Snow with the rest of your morning announcements. Have a great day, Bruins. Good morning, students and staff. Just wanted to let you know that we are finishing up the Learn More magazines. You have the rest of this week through next Tuesday to read through this. And next Wednesday, the quiz will open for you to take the small little quiz that you should know in regards to what was in the magazine. Now remember, we went from cover to cover. Who's the governor? Good answer. That's right, Governor Pence. And on the back cover, public and private colleges. Good job, you know some of those too. We learned about those a long time ago. So remember, this is the last piece of information that I'm giving you in regards to your learning before I step. Finish to learn more magazines. And then yesterday you also took a look at the 21st Century Scholars. If you finish your magazine, please go to that website and learn more about the scholars. The scholars that you saw yesterday, at least the ones that you read about, the profiles, remember there are six, there are twins, so I would love for you to read about them. They could not be 21st century scholars at IU 
unless they did apply when they were in sixth and seventh and eighth grade. So students, remember, you have to apply in seventh and eighth grade to become a scholar in college. I know that may not sound right to you because you're thinking, I'm in seventh grade. Why would I apply now for college? You have to apply for 21st century scholarship money during middle school. You can't do it as a ninth grader, 10th grader, or 11th grader. You have to do it in middle school. So teachers, if you are willing to, um, I guess, contact some of your 7th graders, 8th graders, and really ride them about getting this done, please email me and I'll send you some names. Or you can even come and look at some names that we're going to go after. So students, we're going to come after you because we don't want you to leave Belzer without enrolling in the 21st Century Scholars Program. So students, again, finish your Read More magazines. Have a great day.